after the setback in the recent assembly elections well actually many recent elections the congress vice president has been promising a shake up sunetra choudhury now has details of the supposed uh, new plan to re-energize the congress coming in uh, sunetra and and you're saying that rahul gandhi has now fallen back on an old idea well, it is an old idea, but it's spun around in a new way. In fact, one of the ways that a congressman was explaining to me is saying that, you know, when you're in government, then how you reward your people is by making them ministers. When you're out of government, then you have to create posts. And this is one of those things. Of course, if you speak to the officials who are involved with this move, they say that, look, we needed, Rahul Gandhi has always felt that anything that comes to uh, parliament, for that you have the MPs. So uh, that's legislative. But what about policies like uh, tribal rights, uh, things which are very close to the heart, environment, which are not laws right now? Who is doing, who is deciding the party line for that? Who tells the states what the party's position is? So he wanted this kind of policy group. Some people, of course, say it's also a bit of a copy from the BJP's parliamentary board. That's their key group of MPs as well. And what the Congress is saying is that, look, we need about 9 to 10 members. So building up on that uh, core group, which used to be there when they were in government, if you remember, the core group had people like Ahmed Patel, P. Chidambaram, among others, who used to tell the government just a kind of... Uh, key group of ministers to tell the government what to do. Now, this is going to be extended a little bit more. So apart from P. Chidambaram and Ahmed Patel, you'll also have people like Ambika Soni, Gulam Nabi Azad, about 10 odd members in this policy group, which will decide the thinking of the party on various issues. So that's what they're really thinking. They're about to launch it uh, after soon after the, uh, the uh, Rajya Sabha polls take place. Rahul Gandhi has been uh, issuing it out. Of course, some of them, one of the key strategists involved with this is K. Raju NDTV tried speaking to him. They're very, very hush-hush about it till the plan is actually unveiled as part of uh, new team Rahul Gandhi. We, of course, spoke to Congress spokesperson Randeep Surjewala, who uh, actually in the new team, the rumor is that he's going to be elevated as a general secretary as well. Here's what he said. One of the key members who's supposed to be part of all the changes in the new Congress is Randeep Surjewala. He's with us. First of all, like what we are hearing is that you're going to also become a general secretary. Can you confirm that for us? As far as reconstitution of All India Congress Committee is concerned, that is the sole prerogative of Congress President and Congress leadership in consultation with Congress Working Committee. As in when any changes happen, individuals are unimportant. Uh, as in when structural changes take place in the party, which are bound to take place. Uh, Rahulji has been doing that exercise for some time now. He has met a few thousand people, senior leaders, Congress workers, district presidents from across the country. He has formed an opinion. He believes that the party needs to take a, new, a fresher line and a newer set of ideas. He also believes that the wisdom and experience of elders and the youthful energy of the young has to be mixed together for Congress party to retain its and as also to regain its past glory. Whenever any structural changes happen, we will we shall definitely inform you. You talk about youth. I believe a lot of the youth Congress people become joint secretaries. Is that something that you've heard as well? Uh, in Congress party, if you see from times immemorial, people from the frontal organization, whether it was the Seva Dal, it was Mahila Congress, it was Youth Congress or NSUI, they have graduated upwards. Some of them today who are the top leaders in the hierarchy of the party are the products of the frontal organizations of the party. So frontal organizations for the Congress party have always been a key figure for, for producing and giving new leadership. So this would be part of an ongoing exercise where we get younger, fresher elements from within the frontal organization and some from outside because Rahulji believes we should not restrict your choice mm. only to frontal organizations. People who do not have traditional political roles may not come up from a hierarchy or cadre, have yeoman service to give to the party as also to the nation. And that's why we have adopted and, uh, and uh, brought with, with us many such people.